Watch you guys got another video here for you on a fast way to back up and restore your computer data. Now, if you've got a PC and you haven't been backing up your data, then now's the time and you can do it for free, really quick and easy. No complicated backup system here. Super quick and super easy as well. It's one of the fastest ways I've seen backing up a PC. It's called Redo Rescue, uh, Backup and Recovery. Now you can head over to the website. I'll leave the link in the video description. It has just been updated, as you can see here. Now this software I did a long time ago, and it's not been updated for six years, but they have just rolled out some latest updates. Simple features like simple user interface for everyone, runs from CD or USB stick, even if the system won't boot, re uh, remote access available via VNC, automatically finds shared network folders on your network, uh, you know, basically got all the features that you need to back up your computer. You can verify an integrity of the existing backup that you've just done, which is always a good thing to do. Uh, web browser for downloading drivers and other documents and things like that that you need. Loads of other stuff you can do with this particular type of software. UEFI secure boot support enabled as well. And also... There is loads of other useful things you can do with this, uh, which I'm not going to cover in this video. I'll just be showing you how to back up and restore. It is so simple that I see so many people saying that Acronis has become complicated and bloated and they're not liking it. So this is an option available for you if you want something simple. So let's take a look. We're going to download these and we'll have a look at how to create a bootable USB flash drive and then boot to that then back up and then restore the system let these download i'm also going to be using etcher to create my bootable usb flash drive so i'll download both of these now and we can then get on with the uh, project so i'll just let these come down and you can see the file sizes are about 540 megabytes for one of them and about 100 odd for the other one so we've got the files here in a folder and what we're going to do here is i've got my usb flash drive plugged in so I've got a 38 gigabyte flash drive plugged into the computer. That should be plenty. So I'm going to click on Etcher first and get that installed on the system. You can use whatever you can use whatever software you like to create your bootable USB flash drives. So you can see here we do have a really simple user interface. This has been updated as well. So flash from file, just need to select the file that we want to flash from. In this case, it will be a redo rescue. Next, we need to select the target, which is going to be our USB flash drive. Make sure you select the right drive and you can check that here. Next up, we can go select and this will select the drive. And all we need to do now is click flash. It's that simple. And uh, you can see how quick uh, this will go through. It doesn't take that long at all, but you're seeing this in real time. So I've not speeded this up at all. And this is a really good bit of software etcher. I've been using it for a while. Do enjoy it using this software it also validates it as you can see here and that is now complete so all we need to do now is boot to that usb flash drive on the computer that we wanted to back up or restore you wanted to change the boot order in the bios so if you know how to get into your bios it'll be probably f2 or the delete key and this will give you a bios looking something like this or something like a more modern bios and you can select to boot from your usb flash drive I'm on a virtual machine here, so I'm going to select the CD-ROM drive here. Uh, but if you're on a PC, you want to select the actual USB flash drive that you've got your Redo Rescue on there to boot to that device. And then obviously, once you've booted to that device, you'll be able to see uh, the menu system, what you've just created for Redo Rescue. So let's take a look here. This is what you're looking at right now. You can see Redo Rescue and also change language. So if you want to choose your language here to something of your liking you can do if you're in a different country also we got safe video mode here as well so i'm going to boot up to redo rescue and you should see a desktop looking something like this very simple and easy to do with a free button system backup verify and restore can't be more simpler than that all you need to do here is click on whatever you want to do here i'm going to go for backup first so let's take a look at the software before we go ahead and do that you can see there is some other things inside here which are very useful advanced network also uh, disk usage analyzer you've got disks also file management gparted very very useful uh, hardware 
Vista, also Image Viewer, and a bunch of other software on here as well. LX Terminal, Monitor Settings, Mouse Pad Notifications, and a bunch of other stuff. So very, very useful uh, programs in here. You've got a web browser in here as well. So if you need to download something, you can do uh, via the internet. We have got connection on here as well to the internet. And it's all listed out in little categories here. So let's start off with the backup by hitting the backup button here. And we're going to back up our computer. Source drive. This will be the drive that you want to back up. It says it all there in plain English. Basically, just select the source drive. That you want to back up in this case it's a 60 gigabyte um, sas disk which is the vmware disk that i've got set up here yours will be your computer disk select the parts to save which you want to back up and you can see here i'm going to select all of this to back up so if you've got other partitions on there and you want to back those up you would leave the text inside there click next and this will move on to the next step which is select your destination now you can see there's no destination available here because I haven't got the drive plugged in yet. But you can plug the drive in and click reload and go back and it will then populate that drive. So you don't have to have the drive in all the time straight away. If you forgot to plug it in, you can still go ahead and select the drive. You can now see that we have our USB disk, Western Digital My Passport drive plugged in. So I'm just going to go back to that stage where we can select the drive to put the destination on there we go and I can now select the external drive so if you forget to plug it in you can always reload and go back and select that drive you can also back up to a network drive if you know the location and if you know the domain name and the password of the computer that you want to get in access to to back up the image to you can do that here by putting in the information here if you know it you can do that if not you can do a quick search of the network to find that network share that you want to connect to and then connect to that network share very simple you've got nfs also here available let me just show you the password and username down the bottom here we've got nfs we've also got ssh and we've also got ftp so you've got options available to back up as well here to different locations so let's go ahead and select our external drive here which is just an external storage device one of those little my passport drives very useful drives to have i'm going to select next here and basically back up to that location it's now going to tell me to select a destination folder on that drive it'll also tell me that i've got 766 gigabytes free space available on there to back up to so make sure that you've got enough space available to back up to so I've created a folder on that external drive called Redo Backup, and I'm going to back up to that folder. Here we've got the name the backup, so it's going to name it with this number, and that's fine by me. I'm just going to put some optional uh, description of the backup down below. I can put Windows 10, and I can put uh, the date if I want to do that, just to remind me when that backup was created. Very simple and easy to follow here so just go ahead and put in the date i can remember the date it's the 25th and 11th 20 and all we need to do now is click next and this will then start to create a backup image of the drive that we selected to the destination that we want that backup image to go to so very simple you can see how quick this is working as well this redo rescue does create very fast backup images and also it does restore backup images and uh, one of the fastest ones that I've seen actually to be honest it's very very quick and I'll show you the time that it takes I'm not going to go through the whole process here because otherwise it will bore you to tears so I'll speed this bit up and you'll see at the end the time it took to actually make a backup of that 64 gigabytes and you can see here it took three minutes and 11 seconds which is no time at all to back up 64 gigabytes of data to a usb flash drive so very quick indeed so let's click ok here and what we'll do is i'll also restore it so you can see the restore speed of how quick it can restore uh, that image as well so we'll take a look at that in this video as well so let me just exit out of here so we can uh, go back to the beginning and start again 
Now, I just wanted to show you here some useful software that's here. Now, Gparted and some other software is very useful if you want to manage the partitions. And this is all included in this nice little package here. So very, very useful indeed. So that is the software here, Gparted. So let me go ahead and click on the little redo rescue button here and we can open up the redo rescue menu so we can verify that image if we want to but i'm going to click on restore here and now i need to select the source drive this is the hard drive that i've stored that image on so let me go ahead and select that and it's on a computer external drive so i've got that plugged in and i'm going to select that external drive it will check that source it's now asking me to select the backup image. That's the file that we backed up. So now we need to hit the select button and select that image file that we backed up. And you can remember it as that number there. So if you want to give it a more descriptive name, you can do. And now I've clicked on this and we've now got that number there with the backup. Now I need to select the destination drive where we want to put it back onto. In this case, it's going to be our 60 gigabyte disk on our VMware virtual machine here but yours will be your pc and now all i need to do here is choose the restore option so i'm going to restore both of these and it's now going to ask me to restore the backup image any existing data on that drive will be erased and this new image will be put back on that we backed up so you have to agree to that and it will now copy and restore that image back over to that machine so very quick and easy to do and you can see how quick that's coming. That's coming off of an external drive onto uh, that uh, machine here. So very quick, very quick indeed. And it took one minute and 42 seconds. So not too bad. So I can click OK here and literally close that off. And we've now got that restored. I can exit out of here and boot to that PC. It's that simple on how to back up and restore using the software redo rescue very simple and easy to do can't be more easier than that and it comes with some really uh, useful software as well so give it a try if you don't want to spend any money give this a try it's pretty decent i'm pretty impressed with it anyway i think that's going to be about it i just want to say a big special thanks to all those who have joined my youtube members group your names are going up on the screen right now thank you very much for the support i really do appreciate it my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk let me know what backup software you're using. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.